Laudetu Jesus Christus, praise be Jesus Christ. Welcome to this Sunday's live broadcast of the Angelus here in the Vatican. Pope Francis will soon lead us in praying the Angelus. We are already in the third Sunday of Ordinary Time, and tomorrow, Monday, the 25th of January, we celebrate the Feast of the Conversion of St. Paul the Apostle. My name is Father Paul Samasumo, and I will do my best to bring you the live commentary of the Angelus in English. On behalf of Vatican Media, I would like to welcome all of you who are joining us for this live broadcast on television or radio. Wherever you are in the world, welcome. Welcome to our television viewers and radio listeners of Shalom World TV, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, EWTN Television, Salt and Light TV, at Madashan TV, Luminous Radio, Radio Maria PNG, and Radio, Latvi Radio Maria Latvia. We also welcome those of you who are joining us through the various Vatican Media channels, such as the Vatican Media Live Events app, or the Radio Vaticana app, Vatican News website, and the Vatican News English YouTube channel. And to those of you, of course, who are joining us on Shortwave, our Shortwave listeners, and those following us on Vatican News Facebook live stream. As is in other parts of the world, we are still living through the challenges of COVID-19. This explains why even this Sunday, the Angelus will be coming to us from the Library of the Apostolic Palace. It is rather a rainy Sunday here in Rome, but it's such a blessing that in many ways, and also testament Pope Francis, that even when he's not feeling too well physically, he is making the effort to be with us for this Angelus and also to give us his apostolic blessing at the end of the recitation of the Angelus. In a press statement released last evening uh, Mate by Matteo Bruni, the director of the Holy See Press Office, it was announced that Pope Francis would not be able to preside at three upcoming events due to a flare-up of his sciatica, which I believe is a condition that is a nerve condition that can be very painful indeed. Dear brothers and sisters, buongiorno. This Sunday's Gospel passage shows us, to, so to speak, the passing of the baton from John the Baptist to Jesus. John was his precursor. He prepared the terrain and the way for him. Now Jesus can begin his mission and announce the salvation now present. His preaching is summarized in these words. The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Simple message. It is a message that invites us to reflect on two essential things. Time and conversion. In this text of Mark the Evangelist, time is to be understood as the duration of the history of salvation worked by God. Therefore, time fulfilled is that which is salvific action reaching its pinnacle, its full realization. It is the historic moment in which God sent his Son into the world and his kingdom is rendered closer more than ever. Jesus arrived and therefore the time of salvation had come. However, salvation is not automatic. Salvation is a gift of love and as such is freely given and calls for free response. When we speak of love, we speak about liberty. Without liberty, there can be no love. Love is always free. And being free, it calls for a given response, a free response. It calls for conversion. Thus, it means a change of mentality and change of life, to no longer follow the example of the world, but those of God, who is Jesus. 
We should follow Jesus as Jesus himself taught us. It is a decisive change of view and attitude. In fact, sin brought into the world a mentality that stands for a mentality that, affirm, that tends towards the affirmation of oneself against others and against God. This is curious. What is your identity? Sometimes when we speak, when we express our identity, our identity is expressed in, in against others. We need to express our identity in positive terms and not against others and against God. And for this purpose, it, do, it does not hesitate to use deceit and violence. Deceit and violence. And when we use this, we want power, war, exploitation of others. This is the mentality of deceit, which, of course, has its origin in the father of deceit, the liar, that is the devil. He is the father of deceit. All this is opposed by the message of Jesus, who invites us to recognize ourselves in, the, in need of God and His grace, to have a balanced attitude with regard, towards, with regard to earth goods and to be welcoming and humble towards others, to know and fulfill ourselves in the encounter with others with and service of others. For each one of us, the time in which we are able to receive the redemption is brief. It is the duration of our life in this world. It is brief. It looks long. I remember I went to give the sacrament of the sick to, to someone, an older person. In that person, before receiving the Eucharist, he said to me this phrase, Life has flown by. It looked to me like life was eternal, but it just flew past like that. And this is what us who are senior citizens see or experience. Life seems to have just gone by. Life is a gift of God's infinite love, but also the time to prove our love for Him. For this reason, every moment, every instance of our existence is precious time to love God and neighbor and thereby enter into eternal life. The history of our life was has two rhythms. One measurable, made of days, hours, years, the other composed of seasons and our development, birth, childhood, adolescence, maturity, old age, death. Every period, every phase has its own value and can be a privileged moment of encounter with the Lord. Faith helps us to discover the spiritual significance of these periods. Each one of them contains a particular call of the Lord to which we can offer a positive or negative response. In the Gospel, we see how Simon, Andrew, James and John responded. They were mature men, and they had their work as fishermen, their family life, and yet when Jesus passed and called to them, immediately they left their nets and followed him. Dear brothers and sisters, let us be attentive and not let Jesus pass us by without receiving him. St. Augustine used to say, I fear, I fear God when he passes by me by. 
I fear that I might not recognize him do not, and we might not welcome him. That the Virgin Mary will help us to live every moment in salvation and be able to follow him, each one according to their life. And that the Mother of God will help us to convert the, from our fantasies like fireworks towards um, love and service. And now the Angelus Prayer. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedicto fruto venti tui Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. E ciancilla Domini. Fiat mi secundum verbum tu. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus Tecum. Benedicta tui mulieribus et benedicto fruto venti tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. E verbum caro factum est. Et abitavit in nobis. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus Tecum, benedicta tui mulieribus, et benedicto fruto venti tui Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Ora pro novi, Santa dei Genitrix. Udini e fecciamo la promissione omnibus Christi. Grazie a tu, a questo musomine, e menti bus nostri si infonde. Ulti angelo nunziante, Cristi figli tu, incarnazione e cognovi, per passione meglio sal cruce, a resurrezione e gloria in perducamo. Per Cristo un domino nostro. Amen. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spirito e Santo. Sicutera di principio, et dunque, et sempre, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spirito e Santo. Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Gloria a Patria, et Figlio, et Spirito e Santo. Sicuterat in principio, et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Profideli vos defuntis, requim eterna in donai, Domine. Et lux perpetua luce a te. Requiejant in pace. Amen. Sit nomen Domini Benedictum. Aiutere un nostro in nomine Domini. Benedica vos, Omnipotens Deus, Pater, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen. So we just received the blessing from the Holy Father. Wherever you are, you must feel blessed. Cari fratelli e sorelle, Dear brothers and sisters, this Sunday is dedicated to the Word of God. One of the great gifts of our time is the rediscovery of the Gospel at all levels. Never before as ever has the Bible been so available in all languages. Now even in audiovisual formats, San Jerome says, ignorance of the scripture is ignorance of Christ. E viceversa, è Gesù Cristo, verbo fatto carne, morto e risorto, che ci apre la mente alla comprensione del Vescovo. E Gesù è il che apre la nostra mentalità per capire la parola. E anche nella liturgia, o quando siamo pregati in gruppo, o in un gruppo. E usando il Vescovo o i Salmi. E incoraggio. E incoraggio. E incoraggio. And thank all the parishes for all that you are doing in the parishes to teach the gospel and the word of God. Let us continue to use to be joyful in spreading the word with joy. Have the attitude or the habit of taking with you always with you a small little gospel book of the gospel in your pocket always with you, that you can read a small passage from it from time to time. Last Sunday, 20th January, from nearby here, a Nigerian a homeless man whose name is Ewin was found dead. 
His homeless situation is uh, similar to many others who have died uh, here in Rome. I, let us pray for Ewen. This is a homeless person who was found dead here in Rome on the 20th. As St. Gregory the Great used to say, it's quoting from St. Gregory the Great who let us think about Erwin who died uh, 46 years old died of cold here homeless man abandoned by all abandoned by all of us let us pray for Erwin. Tomorrow evening in the afternoon in the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls there will be the Vespers of St. Paul conversion and the conclusion of the week of Christian unity together with the representatives of other people from other faiths I invite all of us to unite together in prayer Today also is the memory of Saint, um, Saint Francis de Sales, the patron of all journalists, of communicators, and the message of communication, the World Communication Day message, with the message that we should encounter God, we should encounter communicate by encountering people as they are. It is a message of the 55th World Communication Day that Pro Francis is inviting us to reflect upon. And now greeting every one of us, prayers for the family who are struggling in this period of COVID-19 challenges, courage. Let us pray for our families. Let us, we are with you and close with you. And I wish all of you a blessed day and do not forget to pray for me. Enjoy your lunch and arrivederci. And that was our Angelus uh, for today. So many things that the Holy Father has spoken about. Um, my name is Father Paul Samasuma on behalf of Vatican Media. Thank you for joining Pope Francis and this week's Angelus. Thank you to our viewers and listeners of Shalom World TV, Catholic TV, Catholic Faith Network, EWTN Television, Salt and Live TV, at Madashan TV, Luminous Radio, Radio Maria Papua New Guinea, and Radio Maria Latvia. A word of thanks also to our technicians here at Vatican and all our other technicians at various television and radio stations. Do have a blessed day. Laudetur Jesus Christus. Praise be Jesus Christ. <laughs>